Hello lovely people, today I'm gonna uh, just have a, a very quick rundown on what we've done so far in the uh, Excel sheets belonging to the estimating demand curve and by using Solver in fact. Uh, we started working on this exercise about razors and blades and the question was suppose that you currently charge five dollars for razors and uh, you sell six million for when you charge five dollars and assume that the variable cost for the razor is two dollars and suppose that the, elastric, the elasticity uh, of demand uh, for razors is two and the demand curve is linear what price should you charge for razors so now we need the price of, of razors so first thing first this is what is needed or this is what is required price of razors and this is something that we would like the solver to find out for us all right what happens next to you guys we would like to, to see now we're gonna go and read again the question Let's read the question. We're currently charging five dollars. Okay, so this is point one. We have a price, which is five dollars, and then we have demand, which is six million. All right, here we go. All right. And now we need the elasticity so that we can come up with a point. Well, we, we're not sure yet. We need to see if the elasticity is actually linear or power. And it says, suppose that the price elasticity of demand for razors is two and the demand curve is linear. So now it's telling us that the elasticity is two. So here, linear elasticity is equal to two okay so well, maybe i should just put it like that so this is given in the question slide number where did we get this information from? From slide number 34. Slide number 34, okay. So that's good, good to know. Okay. This, I'm gonna highlight it like that. And now we have, uh, uh, probably I'm gonna just take this down a little bit. And now I know it's linear, so I can say equals always, always, always. We say that this price, when it increases by, which is B7 again, by 1%, so 0 0.01, something going to happen to the demand, which is, if this increases, this decreases. And that is based on the theory of, uh, the, de the demand theory. Please read the slides and study. So you have equal to, this will decrease. So we use the minus here. And then we say C7 times decreases by how much? By the elasticity, 2%, 0 0.02. Good, you guys? All right. Now the question, what happens if this is a 3? When, if this is a 3, then again, this will stay the same. It always, always, the price when it increases by 1%, this will decrease by whatever the elasticity is, it could be 3%. You see that? So in the question given in the assignment, it is two. So we're gonna keep it as decreases by two. So when this price increases by one, this demand decreases by two. So now this is gonna be something here, but we're gonna use to plot or obtain the demand curve that's really good so now 
This is why we are plotting this. Do not, please, uh, 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 highlight everything. Just highlight price and demand and these points. Otherwise, you get into unnecessary trouble. So you insert here. And now again, as you can see, the, this is not what is expected. What is expected is that as this is the x-axis in marketing, this is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis, right? So in marketing, the price is the x-axis, but this is 1, not 5. Oh, something is up. Well, the author tells us, don't you worry, you go to chart design. How do I get to chart design? I don't have it. Well, you need to select the graph first. And then once you select the graph or the figure, then you go to chart design, you switch the rows and columns. And now you can check again. The first point is 5 to 6, and then 5.05 to 5.88. That's really good, isn't it? I think so. And now easily you can just go right click and you can add a trend line. This trend line, you can display an equation there. And this equation, you can take it and also you can use it for demand. So that would be the demand curve. Okay. So this is the demand curve and X here is the price. So let's put here the demand curve. Demand curve is that demand is equal to, you can add like not minus 2.4 times the price of razors plus 18. That's good, isn't it? I think so. So I hope that you have all the steps now taken care of. You don't need to add these. Oh, 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 in there. Okay, now it's good. You know what, you guys? Hmm. I'm going to show you something also interesting. It is actually in chart design. You can actually add here different coloring of the chart. And moreover, you can add, for example, here, an X ti an, a title here, and you can have it as price. You don't need this. I lost my, uh, and here you can add demand. And also you can get rid of these if you don't want them. And add again the trend line, what can we do? And the equation again, and here we go. So you can uh, have different uh, uh, options of actually uh, making sure that you understand that this price, this is demand and all that, but I trust your intelligence. So now let's uh, carry on. We need to know what prices, yeah, we should be uh, charging here. The razor, if the demand is going to be six, right? No, if the demand is, is this function. So this is the second thing I, I talked about. So here the question asks about the, the, pro, the, the, the profit maximizing price of razors, meaning the price of, of razors that will maximize the profit. Okay. So the question asks about the price of razors, price of razor that maximizes demand. And all the razors are going to be the same price, right? All right, so demand here expressed as a function at all times. So the demand should be expressed as a function. So we're going to have equal 18 minus 2.4 times the price here, the price of, of razors. Okay, I, I'm going to write it again, demand. And then we have the unit cost, unit cost, unit cost of a razor. Where, where we got this from here in the question if you if you read carefully you will see the variable cost which is the cost of a razor is two dollars so you say uh, uh, given in the question slide number 34 okay 
So it is two dollars. Okay, and then now what is the profit expressed in terms of price? Not to profit equals revenue minus cost. No, we are talking about this profit expressed in terms of price. This is our objective to increase or maximize to maximize profits right so this is our objective function so we have two functions yeah first of all we had here the demand demand expressed as a function and then we also have the objective function here is the profits or actually maximize profit okay so now let's take a look what do we have here equals to equals to what equals to quantity or demand uh, first I want to show you how to name these based on what you've got here so I'm gonna name based yeah, like I want to name this for example I want to name it as price of, of razors you can just click here and go to the name box and hit enter why let's see again uh, maybe because it has uh, okay it has space let me get rid of the space and enter now I want to show you another way or let's show you again this one I'm gonna call it demand enter uh, over here I called it already demand so uh, demand underscore razors razor okay so now maybe this name is not has not been used in the file before and here we go so now this is price razor this is is demand of razors and now I'm going to show you another way you can just go to formulas and then go to create from selection and yes I want to use the left uh, populated cells to name these cells so now this is called the profit whatever blah 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 now let's put the demand the, 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 the price of a razor here is actually a question mark we should keep it just blank you can you can add whatever number you want it's, it's not a big deal but this is what we want the decision variable so this is the question asks about this and we call this we call this the decision variable as I said earlier in class so this is the decision variable okay and this is the objective function all right let's carry on so this is the price of razors the decision variable and then we have the demand over here and the demand will be 18 minus 2.4 times the price of razor and then we have the unit cost and then over here we will have the demand and then it's times the price minus the unit cost oh no actually here I got it so here I can see the unit cost and this would be your uh, profit expression uh, okay, so now we need to add the solver. So this is a function. This is supposed to be a function, demand, and this is supposed to be a function. So this is a note, a very interesting and very important note. Yeah, note. Both demand and profit are expressed as functions. Please, okay? All right, now let's go to solver. Let's solve it. So we have here the profit is here, the objective function, maximizing by changing the price of a razor. And then uh, uh, we are using the GRG nonlinear and we are solving and hit OK and we get 18.15. Now, some of you might say, you know what? I want to add a constraint. It just only makes sense, my, some of you might say, only makes sense that this price of a, la a razor, I want it to be 
a, a, a greater than or equal to the unit cost. But the idea here is not to do this. Don't do this because the idea here, what I'm trying to show you here is, it's going to give you the same results, right? But the idea here is to show you that sometimes even if you drop the cost, uh, 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 not here in particular, in, in normal situations, even if you didn't put uh, the constraint here, uh, I cannot say it as a, as as a I cannot generalize really, but what I'm trying to tell you is the idea here is you might be thinking this is the common sense like I shouldn't be uh, uh, pricing the unit of razor less than the unit cost, but we will see now in the next video how uh, we will get even more profitability or more profits if we if we in fact, uh, uh, price uh, price the razor, uh, price the razor uh, um, uh, less than one dollar. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.